Hi, I'm Ted Cruz. In recent weeks, the IRS has admitted to unlawfully targeting conservative groups and trying to silence the president's critics. This is wrong, a chilling abuse of power. It needs to be fully investigated and those involved must be held accountable. But we also need to make sure it never happens again. It's time to abolish the IRS. We need to get rid of the army of IRS agents trying to police every aspect of our lives. No more discrimination, no more intimidation. And no IRS enforcement of Obamacare. We need a tax code that is simple, fair, and that protects our freedoms. I'm working to lead this effort in the U.S. Senate, and I hope you will join me by signing our petition to abolish the IRS. That President Obama may not have directly ordered the IRS to target conservative groups, but that there was a culture of political manipulation that filtered down from the White House. Explain what you mean. Well, I think the, the president has uh, basically told some of his supporters, you know, uh, the best way to get back at somebody is, is to win, sort of talking about revenge, this, uh, you know, take no prisoners attitude. There's clearly an organized effort within the IRS to target political opponents of the president. That's undeniable. How does such a culture come about? How vast was it? Who was involved? This really does call for a special counsel. The DOJ guidelines about dealing with uh, journalist leaks or leaks of classified information goes back to the 70s. We need to review that. But my belief about the IRS scandal is that this culture of going after Tea Party groups that were, you know, on the president's case about Obamacare uh, did did just not accidentally happen. I think it comes from the top in terms of tone. We look at this this portrait of Barack Obama and Ayers, Dorn, Wright, Flager, Alinsky, Resco, Acorn, and the way he's governed. What does it tell you about the president? That he too is not someone who is, uh, he's turned his back on the, uh, the ideal of, of a colorblind society. And he's really for a, um, I guess, a, a, a getting even society, a revenge society. And I think that the appointment of uh, Eric Holder and Eric Holder's uh, behavior as attorney general shows that same mindset. It's very ugly. No, no, no. Don't boo, vote. Vote. Voting's the best revenge.